so um i am a little behind on these videos so i'm going to try to catch up okay so in this video i am talking about how my third trimester went so just so you know as of now um i have had the baby and you'll see him in the next video um well in videos to come so just to tell y'all what all happened um with third trimester it was something um so let's see so earlier on in the pregnancy um the doctor said that i had um low-lying um placenta again uh, not exactly what I wanted to hear because, you know, you're on such, you know, restrictions with that. And um, so, yeah, so went back for my doctor's appointment at the beginning of third trimester and I forgot which week. But the placenta uh, was back in place. So that was good to hear. So it was good news and then hit with more not so good news so then <laughs> my doctor informed me that um i now have um diastasis recti and i'm like no because i've seen that and um but you know didn't really know much about it i just knew that it did not look good so basically it's where um your abdominal muscles split <laughs> like they they're not you know how you have you know your nice little six pack and i had a nice little six pack too so yeah so your six pack splits and so there's just a big gap right there in the middle and so it was making um it was making it harder to carry the baby because there was at the front of my belly there was nothing but just skin there's there were there were there were no muscles to like help you know hold the baby up so he was like leaning forward um a lot and that was heavy um so i was um <laughs> order to wear my pregnancy belt from that point on all the way up to um delivery um as far as pains pain is always going to be there i mean it's like i cannot go through a pregnancy without pain it's gonna be pain so the pain in my hips um was the main thing um, because it's like in my hips and in the, the groin area. So that round ligament pain. And round ligament pain is no joke. Round ligament pain. It's no joke. That that hurt. Like I tolerate pain very well. Because I just feel like if it's going to hurt. It's just going to hurt. I still got stuff to do. I still got to move on with life. Um, life, world, all that time. It's not going to stand still just because I'm in pain. So it's just like I just just got the deal then it gets to the point um when it is frustrating for me is when i get to the point where i'm tired of dealing um because i don't want pain to be like a, a norm no that should not be a norm but anyway so sleeping on my side really sleeping any kind of way just didn't work it hurts it hurts and it made it so painful to get up and walk like and i'm just wondering like so is there like no other woman that's, you know, <laughs> crippled <laughs> during pregnancy? Like, am I, I can't be the only one that can't walk during pregnancy. I can't be. Um, and if there is somebody else that's struggling like this too, tell me what, what to do. But I guess if you are struggling, then you, you don't know what to tell me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, there has to have been somebody that has dealt with it and figured out, you know, how to make it easier or better. Um, 
So another thing with third trimester, I would say the the cravings, my cravings uh, were not like super, super crazy, but I could tell that I was anemic because I was, I was wanting not to eat, but I was wanting like certain textures, <laughs> not like I said, not to eat it, but um, because I know a lot of women go through, what is it? pica 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 i think it's pica where they want to eat weird stuff like dirt and laundry detergent <laughs> that's not funny um but <laughs> i did just like want the the texture though like i would you know go you know drive down the road and like just see like a sandy area or dirt field area and i'm just like oh my gosh i want to go run my hands through that dirt so bad like that's what i wanted to do um and so what i did was i had my husband get me some um some, some pixie sticks you know the little tubes with just pretty much colored and flavored sugar and i would just take that and just fill it up my mouth and just crunch it and that helped with that craving. And of course, you know, eating more iron like I should. That will also help with the being anemic. <laughs> um, okay, so another thing is uh, being out of breath. That's, that comes with the territory. <laughs> you can't, you can't be you know, third trimester pregnant and not be out of breath. You gonna be out of breath. I mean, you, it's you, you're carrying this extra weight, this extra, um, you know, extra blood flow and you're carrying a whole nother human. <laughs> you're going to be out of breath. So yeah, it's like real easy. It was like real easy for me to be out of breath. Real easy. Um, and another thing, I've been drinking water like crazy, like all day, all day, all day, drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, because I am that thirsty, like I'm that thirsty, and it's like no matter how much I drink, I still feel thirsty, and so of course I'm going to the bathroom like crazy, so sleeping through the night, I already cannot get comfortable because of the pain. And now I really can't sleep because I have to keep going. Uh, well, not now, but, you know, I have to keep going, getting up to go to the bathroom. Like every 10 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so... Towards the end of third trimester, um, my my feet began to swell, and it mostly would do that um, when I was sitting for too long, either sitting for too long or standing for too long, and they would um, they would swell up. So I would have to sit down and like elevate them, and the swelling would go back down. So the swelling wasn't um, bad like um, it was with AJ. With AJ, I was just all just blowed up. With Amari, we blowed up because I was dealing with preeclampsia. And so this time around, it's just, you know, typical pregnancy swelling, you know. Um, my uh, contractions were normal. Um... I could tell if I was dehydrated or if I needed to, you know, just keep drinking some more um, or if I went a long stretch without drinking because my contractions will get way worse. Towards the end of the pregnancy, like within the last few weeks, um, I, I was at the hospital more often than I was with other pregnancies. So I went to the hospital because I was having terrible contractions and they were back contractions um and it was awful 
Um, we're going to see what time it is. I have another class to teach in a little bit, trying to make sure I don't miss my class. Because <gasps> that would be bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the contractions was, like, really, really bad. So I get to the hospital, and I'm, like, crying and stuff. And and it, it just took them forever. And I'm just like, y'all, yo, I'm in pain. Y'all yo, y'all not, y'all not going to hurry up. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So after a while, you know, they, they, um, you know, it started to settle down and yeah, so I was sent back home. So I've just, you know, still been trying to remember to stay hydrated, to drink because that was terrible. Um, going into labor and delivery, I was not nervous at all. I was excited. I was ready. And so when I actually, when it was actually time to go, I was still not nervous. I was ready to go. Um, so in my video about my labor and delivery experience, I will get more details on that because that was different than the others. It's always different. <laughs> It is. It's always different. Um, so I had everything packed on time this time. Um, had everything clean and organized. I was ready to go, just ready to deliver and have the baby, bring the baby back home and, you know, rest my body. My goodness, because my body went through a lot. Um, cause even now, like, I feel like my body just is still healing. Cause at one point I was feeling like my body, um, had been through, you know, like a really bad car accident or something. <clears throat> and I was still recovering from that. And it's like, no, I mean, you just, is, you just recovering from pregnancy. Like, dang, that did my body like that. And, um, yeah, so I'm still, you know, trying to, trying to get back. Cause you know that whole snapback thing that 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 don't apply to me. I thought it would. After I had AJ, I thought I was gonna snap back and be like, "Hey, I'm cute again." Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. And some some people may be like, "Oh, Amy." Girl, you look good. No, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't feel good. And everything did not snap back like it should. But anyway, I'll update on all that. Um, with my <laughs> labor and delivery story and all. Okay, I can't wait to tell that story. So that is all about third trimester. So that's that's what happened with that. So I was pretty much on like bed rest restriction and all that stuff. And yeah. <laughs> all right. So I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have a whole nother brand new season coming up. All right. See y'all in the next video.